Uh, next speaker is Mrs. Sofko. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, indeed, the stability of Southeast Europe is coming into question once again. Tensions are high in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, Kosovo and Macedonia. The mainstream thinking is that they are most, uh, mostly manifested as it concerns the Republika Srpska entity. However, the tensions are much wider. And this is most reflective from my perspective of the public messages being sent from Serbia and from Bosnia and Herzegovina directed toward the EU member state, Croatia. Several high-level salvos have come from Serbia against Croatia, related indeed in some degree to differences between the two countries on accession negotiations, but there are other motivations as well. Croatia Foreign Minister in December cautioned the Serbian authorities that they are using the language and passions that we heard only during the era of Mr. Milosevic in the 19s. From this perspective, the letter from Mr. Juncker to Mr. Vucic to calm the tensions were very helpful, was very helpful. Going forward, it will be important that Croatia maintains restraint as it has but even more important that the EU member states and the European Parliament to show solidarity with Croatia regarding inflammatory rhetoric coming from Serbia, as Mr. Juncker did. There was similar posturing from one member of the Bosnia and Herzegovina presidency toward Croatia in November, when a cautious warning from Croatia's president came about the risk of returning ISIS fighters to Europe and to Bosnia and Herzegovina in particular, as largest per capita exporter of foreign ISIS fighters, was turned into an issue that we also heard in, uh, last in the 90s, shifting debate on serious issues by throwing charges of historical and inherent fascism in Croatia. Yes, yes again, this type of discourse we heard at the onset of Balkan Wars 30 years ago. As we are all working on to downscale these tensions, we should also keep in mind that some member states may be more affected if these tensions turn negative. Thus, we should slow, slow policy solidarity and other types of support when necessary. Croatia has such a geographical position which raises several important peace and security issues tied to its long borders with Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia and Montenegro, as well as the sea routes. In addition to the pos possible instability in those states, per se, Croatia is concerned about, the, about instability due to wider migrant flows and terrorist movements. Whatever we do in the region going forward, it is important that the EU remains a neutral mediator in the process. We should not pick sides. No winners, no losers was the early policy when the former Yugoslavia started coming apart. And all international actors respected this approach. 